Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich helping you on lesson 7.9 and the directions in the example are use the distributive property to write an equivalent expression and they present 12a plus 8b. Now I thought to help you understand what 12a plus 8b looks like, I thought I would model it for you down here at the bottom. So 12a might be 12 apples, 8b might be 8 bananas. So we're combining these two things. All right, so the first step, if they're asking you to use distributive property to rewrite the expression is to find the GCF of the coefficient. So in other words, we're finding the GCF of 12 and 8. And I've done that for you already on the bottom where I started it by doing factor trees. And here's the prime factorization for each number. So let's take a better look. Now we're going to circle our matches. We have a pair of matching twos. Let's write that down. And we have a pair of another pair of twos here and here. And let's write that down. And that's it for matches, because these two don't match. We're going to multiply these two things together, which equals 4. So the GCF of 12 and 8 is 4. All right, so that means we want to divide both of these numbers by 4. We're going to do 12 divided by 4, and we're going to do 8 divided by 4 to come up with a number. 12 divided by 4 would be 3. So let's write that number here. 8 divided by 4 would be 2. All right, so that's, that means we're going to rearrange these into groups of three. So let's see what that would look like. One, two, three apples there. One, two, three apples there. One, two, three apples there. And one, two, three apples there. All right, so how many are in each group? Let's take a look. We have four, or how many groups do we have? We have four groups of three. Four groups of three. All right, now let's do the same thing with the banana. We've decided eight divided by four is two. So let's put those two bananas in each group. And let's circle our groups. Here's a group, here's a group, here's a group, and here's a group. All right, so notice that we have four groups here. So let's put the four and four groups here. So now the question is, what are these? Three apples. Four groups of three apples plus we have the four groups of, th of how many bananas? Two bananas, right? Two bananas. All right, so therefore, and if you want, you can put a multiplication sign in here. Therefore, an equivalent expression is 4 times 3a plus 2b. And if we were to multiply this in, and do 4 times 3a, wouldn't we get the 12a? And if we did 4 times 2b, wouldn't we get the 8b? And do you see how this is really the same? We haven't changed the number of apples and bananas. We still have the same number. We're just regrouping it. All right, hope you found this helpful.